Hi, David Barbie here, CTO of IK Multimedia, and we are here today presenting X-Monitor, the advanced control software for the Loud Precision Studio Monitors. The Loud Precision Studio Monitors are advanced speakers with lots of functionalities. Most of them can be controlled from the back panel. However, there are some deeper functionalities and additional features that can be controlled from the X-Monitor control software. This is the main view of the X-Monitor software. Uh, from here, you can start by selecting the speakers you are working with. Both speakers in this case are connected to the USB ports on the computer. Once the speakers are selected, then you see the frequency response on the graph below uh, because an arc calibration has been already done. So I see in green the frequency response that this monitor had in this room before the correction. And in orange, I see the frequency response uh, after the correction. The arc calibration process, so the measurement of the room, basically, can be done uh, from the back panel of the speakers or from this control software. When done from this control software, um, the user is guided through the various steps. Uh, we can see how it works by calibrating the right speaker now. To start the calibration of the speakers in the room, you have to press the calibration button here. This is the wizard that will guide the user through the calibration process. You need to position the microphone roughly at the height of the hairs, and uh, um, the calibration requires the microphone to be moved on four points. Depending on the usage of the studio, the area of these four points uh, could be very narrow, so for a very spot uh, and precise uh, calibration for one single um, let's say seat, or for a wider spot, uh, you can have these four points to be more spread. You can see here on this screen that the system is suggesting these four points that are typically okay for most of the applications. So we click this capture point button to start the first recording. Okay, now the microphone needs to be moved to position two. And the audio can be captured again. Okay, we move mic to position three. And then finally, we move the microphone to the last position, number four. Okay, at this point, all the measurement has been taken and we can click next to complete the calibration. Okay, as you can see here, now we have the green curve that is showing the frequency response of this speaker in this room. You see there is a strong boost in the low mids here and some irregularities. And then the orange curve shows the corrected frequency response. So as we can see, the system flattened out the response pretty well. We can say the response is now flat within plus and minus one and a half dB, which is a pretty good result. Once the calibration is done for both speakers, you can quickly turn it on and off from these buttons here. And since the link option below here is enabled, uh, anything you do on one speaker will be reflected also on the other one. 